Hello friends, I'm Nayya Sheikh from blogtoot.com and in this video I'll show you how to create the perfect membership website using WordPress. Membership websites can be of different types and for different purposes. Let me show you some of the examples of what we are going to do in this video. So first, let's open this demo website in a private tab so that we are logged out and we can see everything properly. So this is how your website will look. Here as you can see we have a menu bar, we have different icons for different menus. Let us see the first and the most common thing which we see in a membership website. So let us click on blogs. So when we click on blog, we see different post or blog post which we have created on our website. So basically when we click on the first blog, we can read or uh, we can access the complete blog. We can read the complete post. But what happens when we see or when we open a second blog? Let us see. Let's click on this and let's read. So as you can see over here, we have some portion of the blog and the rest of the portion is actually locked out. And it says this content is available only for registered users. So this is the basic uh, idea of how a membership website is. You have some of the portion available. You can hide the complete post if you want. So whenever uh, anyone clicks on this post, he won't even see this. He'll directly see this uh, form which says and obviously you can change this text you can change the whatever it is written over here you can ha add some more text you can add some subtext or subtitle and so on so and we can also change the design of this form this is the basic design we there are many different types of design we'll see how to do all these things basically this is what happens when you click on this post this is locked out either you sign in or if you if you have not yet created an account then you can click on this register button so let's click and see what happens next okay so when we do so we get three different plans free plan one-time plan and recurring plan so this website can also be used to generate um, uh, money you can earn a good amount of money if your if your idea is really good and if your website is really strong so let us click on the uh, free sign up okay so once we do so we are redirected to this register page here we have two different options register here and login here let's see the register form first so this is our register form we have our username email first name last name and so on we can also have upload our avatar or just a image i have also integrated these things using twitter and google so some suppose someone doesn't want to fill in this form so he can just sign up using twitter google or facebook or anything for example let's click on google so here as you can see when he puts in uh, his email address and clicks on uh, clicks on next and so on then he will be signed up to this website he can also use twitter to sign up for our website then here we tick mark on i accept to terms and conditions and when we click on this terms and conditions we have created another page terms of services page and you can or the visitor can see everything over here he can read the terms of services over here then we have the price because we are signing up for free account we see zero usd if we have different account for example one uh one time payment then we would see different amount and so on and this is the login page if the user has already created a website uh, already registered with this website then he can just log in so this was the first type the very basic type but suppose sometimes it happens that you know the whole page is uh, logged out or suppose uh, for example in this website if you see over here it says download theme so here suppose you want to offer a theme uh, to download for free so let's see what happens when we click on this button or when we click on this menu item okay so as you can see over here it has redirected to a page and this page says this page is only available for premium level users for unregistered or other level users the page is restricted and the content is replaced with this one so basically obviously you can change this text according to uh, your need so what we have done over here we have hided the complete page okay so we have hided the complete download theme page and we have uh, enabled this only for premium level users so obviously when you cre uh, create different uh, accounts or different subscription plan over here suppose we can name this as premium level so only people with this plan can access this page even someone with this plan cannot access this page and the free plan also cannot access this page only the people with premium level can only access this plan so this is also very very useful 
okay and then we have here register login if someone wants to register login he can just click on over here and he'll get again the same option again when we click on this sign up the things repeats i'll also show you how to set up payment uh, so that you can receive payment in your bank account through paypal stripe and there are many different options okay we'll see everything later on what happens when we click on my account let's see so here we again are redirected to the register page this is basically because we are we are not logged in but let's see what happens when we are logged in so let's open in a normal tab here i am already logged in so let me click on this my account okay so here as you can see over here we get a very beautiful template over here you can change uh, this uh, uh, this is the avatar which will uh, upload over there in the register form you can you know make changes in your profile from here you can you know change your email address first name last name and so on you can see your subscription plans i'm not subscribed to anything over here but if you if you if you are subscribed to any plan then you will see that over here you can have your social icons over here okay we have orders and transactions and so on so basically this is the perfect video if you're you know wanting to create a register page or a register website i have included almost everything that you will need this was just a glimpse a short glimpse of what we are going to create in this video so i hope you guys like the demo website and you are really excited to create this website so see you guys in the next section where we'll see how to register a domain name and a hosting plan and after that we'll start creating the website to create any kind of website whether it be a regular website a business website a simple blog an e-commerce website or a membership website which we are creating we need two basic things a domain name and a web host so basically what is a domain name a domain name is nothing but the url of your website or the name of your website for example google.com is a domain name youtube.com is a domain name nayashik.com is a domain name blogtoot.com is a domain name okay so that is basically a domain name it is very important to select and choose the perfect domain name because this is what is going to stick with you for you know quite a long uh, period of time and this is what the user has to type in the browser to reach your website so it is very important to select a perfect name and a web host is nothing but a computer wherein all the data of your website for example the images the codes and so on is saved so what happens is whenever a user visits your website types in your url or your domain name he sees this website for example whenever a person will enter the web the url he will see this website and this website has so many designs images and so on so all these images all this code is somewhere is saved somewhere in some computer which is running 24 7 so that is basically a dom uh, a web host so we need a domain name and a web host to create any kind of website. So for both domain name and web host, I prefer TMD hosting. So what you have to do, you have to open a new tab and type in blog slash TMD. The link is also given in the video description below. So you don't have even have to type in, you just click on that link and you will be redirected to this page. So the design has quite changed earlier. The design was different okay it doesn't matter about the design here we have three different plans the starter cloud business cloud and enterprise cloud so basically i am using this one the enterprise cloud so let's see what are the different features which we get in this uh, hosting so we, because we, it is very crucial to select the perfect hosting and there are many different companies that provide hosting services so if you're choosing tmd or any company then it should really make sense and that should be there should be a really good reason to select that company okay so let's see what are the different features that this company offers so that makes me select this uh, company and that makes me recommend you guys to select this company so the first feature is about the computer as i said to you earlier that it is a web host is nothing but a computer which is running 24 7 it has all your files and so on so the computer which these guys use is very strong it has got six cpu cores so the processor which that computer is using is very strong it has got six cores and the ram is also very good latest technology ddr4 6 gb ram so this is awesome the computer which those guys are using are really awesome 
then we have unlimited bandwidth bandwidth is nothing but the amount of data that you can transfer through your website whether you want to upload or download the data for example if you see some uh you know mp3 website or audio website then what happens there that you know you can download the audio so uh, if you have unlimited bandwidth you can uh, the user can download unlimited amount of data okay you can download 100 gb per day there is no limit on that but when you have limited for example if it is limited to 10 gb then you can transfer only 10 gb of data per day on your website so that is basically very bad and here we have unlimited bandwidth which is very awesome then we have ssd space if you have seen my video you know the difference between ssd and hdd but if you don't know you can go to google type in ssd versus hdd web hosting to see the difference between this and you can read all this post to get into detail but i don't like reading so i'll click on images and i always select the first image because this is really easy to understand here it, there are three different criteria the first one is speed iops and lat latency the first one says speed is higher the better so here you, see, you can see the difference between hdd and sdd is really great the ssd is very much faster in fact sometimes it is 20 times faster than the normal hdd here iops it says higher is better again again you can see there is a great difference between both and the latency it says lower is better so here as you can see the ssd is very low because lower is better so basically uh, i want to say that ssd is way better than hdd even someone having basic knowledge about computers knows that and the great thing is that it offers unlimited ssd which is really really awesome because there are few companies that do offer ssd space but they offer a very limited amount of ssd space but here we get unlimited ssd space then we have unlimited website hosted so for example i am i have created a website blogtoot.com so i can host that website in this plan and suppose tomorrow i want to create another website for example nayashik.com so i can host that website also on this plan so for that website the second website i don't have to purchase the web hosting again i can use the same web host to you know host unlimited number of website so if you even if you have 100 websites you can include all those 100 website or host all those 100 website into one single plan so this is again really amazing then the next feature is free domain so you get a free domain when you sign up with any of these plans so nayashek.com is a domain name which i got for free when i signed up with tmd hosting then you get premium support, cPanel, web server, wildcard SSL. This is another amazing feature which TMD offers. For example, if you see the website which I have created, the demo website, it has a secure socket SSL certificate. When you click on this, it says your information, for example, password, credit card number is private when it is sent to this site. So basically it gives a certificate that, you know, this site is secure and you can, you know, give your mobile number, your email ID, your credit card details and so on. And it will be secure. It is very, very important for website like membership website or e-commerce website where you are collecting users data like the, their names, their date of birth their you know email address password their credit card debit card details it is very important for websites like those uh, like we are creating a membership website it also comes under that website e-commerce website also comes under that category so it is very important to have an ssl certificate for these kinds of website so it is very important now it doesn't only have ssl to certificate but it gives wildcard ssl which means that you can use ssl certificate on unlimited number of websites for example if you are hosting 100 websites over here you can use ssl certificates on all 100 websites basically if you go in market to purchase an ssl certificate it will cost you around 40 50 dollars so indirectly you're saving hundreds of dollars if you're using two three websites over here okay so this is really amazing then we have optimum cache the performance is three times better as compared to these two plans then you also get 60 day money back guarantee and so on so you know that this is really great you can select any of this plan uh, i don't recommend this starter plan 
the basic reason is that you can host only one website so suppose tomorrow you want to create another website you will have to purchase you will have to again purchase a new web host so that is not a good idea you can go with business plan or enterprise uh, cloud i am using the enterprise cloud so i'll use this and i'll click on compare plans okay now when you click on compare plans you'll get this option now click on get this plan now here you have to type in the domain name which you want for free for example i can type in nayash shake one because i cannot type nayash shake because nayash shake is already taken so i am typing nayash shake one and you can select any extension for example com net org and so on i would recommend you to stick with com that is the most amazing thing now click on proceed okay now here you have to enter some contact information like your name first name last name email address phone number and so on some basic information and in the second section you have to put in the payment information for example if you want to make payment through paypal you can select paypal if you want to make payment through credit card debit card atm card you can select credit card from here and accordingly you can fill in the information over here then it is purchase information here you have to choose the data center location the one which says nearest to you you have to select that one so for me singapore says nearest to me so i am selecting that one for you if you are if you are from different country you will see some different options over here so i am seeing singapore as the nearest to you so i'll select that one now here you have to select the period by default one month is selected i don't recommend that i recommend 12 months because you know when you select one month the you will get discount only for one month and after one month you will have to set up everything again so that is not a good idea whereas if you select 12 months that is really easy for example now it is november so i am start i am uh, registering my uh, setup in november so i i know that every year in november i have to renew my plan but if you select one month you every month you have to renew your plan and if you are late one, by one or two day your well, website will go down so that is not a good idea select at least 12 months that is much better then you have domain privacy you uh, if you want to protect your domain name you can select this this is not necessary but you can uh, if you select this then obviously this is much better then you have promo code over here very very important option what you have to do just type in nayar 7 n a w y a r and numeric 7 and click on apply okay so this says that this promo code gives you 7% of this purchase so you're getting 7% discount on whatever amount you get. Okay, so this is this is really amazing because 7% is the highest uh, discount that TMD offers to its customers. So this is really amazing uh, that you're getting 7% discount. So once you fill in everything, just click on checkout. Once you click on that checkout button, you'll receive a mail from TMD hosting. This is a very, very important email. So what you have to do, you have to save this thing, save all the information over here. You can copy this everything over from here and paste in your in your Microsoft Word. You can save that. You can also mail this uh, if you have different email, email addresses. If you have multiple email addresses, then you can forward this uh, on those email addresses. So because it has really important information like your FTP username, password, your server IP, your name servers and so on. So basically the, I want to, the, the thing which I am uh, trying to emphasize is that this is important and you have to save all this information somewhere. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have your control panel link over here at the bottom. Open that link in a new tab. Basically a control panel link is nothing but your domain name slash cPanel. For example, if your domain name is nayashek.com, then it will be nayashek.com slash cPanel. If your domain name is abc.com, it will be abc.com slash cPanel. Once you click on that, you will redirect it to this page. Now from that email address, copy your username and password and click on login. Now this is the cPanel. Most of the companies have similar cPanel. What you have to do, you have to go to the bottom under Softaculous or app installer. You'll see the first option is WordPress. So click on WordPress because now we want to install WordPress on our domain name, which we selected. Now click on install now. From here you have to select HTTPS. Only when you select HTTPS you will get this SSL certificate. You can if you select HTTP you can do that later on. You can select HTTPS later on in your WordPress. But I would recommend you to select HTTPS or HTTPS slash www. 
okay the one which says ps you have to select that one now you have to delete uh, everything from in directory by default wp is written over there or typed in over there you just have to delete that and from here you have to choose in in fact you don't have to choose in the domain name if you're creating it for the first time but i have different domain names on this uh, hosting plan so i'll select the domain name if you're doing this for the first time you will have your domain names selected automatically over here okay now scroll down here you can change the site name site description but again you can change these things later on in your wordpress dashboard so we'll change this later on now change the username and password don't let it be the default uh, one for example admin and pass don't let it be the default one change it uh, according to your need so i'm changing it let me hide the password fine now from here you have to change the email address so select the email address your email address i am selecting mine over here now at the bottom you'll see this install button click on that so here the wordpress is getting installed on your domain name on your website it will take few seconds don't worry okay as i said you it took around just a very small time now you, here you get two different uh, urls the first one is your website url and the second one is your dashboard url so click on the second one your dashboard or your administrative url okay now click on this logout button because we don't want this super cache this is important but we don't want all these things now now click on plugins this is basically your dashboard if you are seeing this for the first time if you're creating a website with wordpress for the first time then this is your uh, wordpress dashboard now what we'll do we'll delete all these plugins over here so that you know uh, we don't want uh, things which you don't actually need now select this uh, it will select all the things which is included over here now from the bulk action select delete click on apply fine now go to appearances by default three themes are already installed on your wordpress website 2017 15 16 now we have to install a new theme because if you see over here the demo website we are using a free theme which is really amazing theme so we'll be installing that one so open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash ocean wp this link is also given in the video description below so you don't have to worry about it once you do so you will be redirected to this page this is the ocean wp theme it is a free theme i am using this is really amazing if you want to get the pro version of this one you can click on this extension click on core extension bundle and you can you know, uh, download the pro version this is really good theme the free version is also good the pro version is really amazing we are using the free version so don't worry you don't have to pay for this one but i'm just recommending you if you want to go with pro version it is also really good now just enter your first name uh, your email address click on get it now once you do so you'll receive a mail also let me show you that okay so once you do so you'll receive a mail and this would look something like this now here you'll see this link download version wp so you just have to click on this link and you will get your uh, theme file okay so let's upload that theme file but before that let's delete this extra themes because we don't need these themes so let's delete this now let's click on add new over here now click on upload theme now choose file okay so this is the file which okay this is the file which i downloaded uh, the ocean wp i'm using the 1.4.2 version now click on open now click on install now so by the time the theme is getting installed you can do few things like you can subscribe to my channel click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos you can also leave a comment if you have any doubt if you want to request if you have any request and so on and please click on that uh, like button so that this video gets more like so our theme is successfully installed now it's time to activate the theme so just click on this activate button it says the theme recommends the following plugins so click on begin installing plugins all these are free plugins and really awesome plugins now select this one it will select both the plugins from the bulk action select install and click on apply now click on return to the dashboard okay let's open our uh, website and see how it looks like 
Alright guys, so this is how our website looks like. You, you can see over here, the SSL certificate is also present, which is really amazing. And our website is looking really good, really nice and simple. Now let's start creating the website. Now it's time to install the plugin. So basically we'll be using a plugin, ultimate membership plugin. That is really, really strong plugin. And that is compulsory to create this website because only uh, the features which I showed you in the demo website are only achievable using the plugin. So what you have to do, open a new tab, type in blogdo.com slash member. Once you do so, you will be redirected to this page. So this is the plugin which we'll be using ultimate membership pro WordPress plugin. This is really, really amazing plugins. It has sold more than 9,000 copies, which is really good. It has got 4.52 average rating. Uh, three, 330 people have rated these things. And this is really amazing. And as I have already shown you what you can achieve with this in the demo section. So you just have to purchase this theme. I have already done that. So I won't be doing this. But you can uh, just uh, click on this buy now button and purchase this plugin. Once you do so, come back to your dashboard. Hover plugins, which is here at the left hand side, at the left hand sidebar, you'll see plugins. Hover plugins, click on add new. Now click on upload plugin, choose file, and you have to choose the file which you which you have just downloaded. So this is the file, uh, this is how it looks like. Click uh, select this file. This is the zip file and click on open. Now click on install now. Now click on activate plugin. Okay, it says this is a trial version of Ultimate Membership Pro blah blah blue. You have to enter the license information. So click on this license section. And here you have to enter the purchase code. If you don't know where you where you'll get your purchase code, here it is under support. You'll get the purchase code. You have to copy that purchase code and paste in over here. Now click on activate. Okay, so it says your you have activated the ultimate membership pro plugin, which is really good. Now go to dashboard. Now if you see there are some changes that have taken place over here, uh, we get two new options over here, new users and new orders. And at the left hand side, you'll see this new option, Al membership pro ultimate WP. Let's click on that. So this is how your plugin would look like. The uh, the interface is really good, very user friendly. And we'll see step by step what these things are first. Let's refresh the website and see whether any changes have taken place. So as you can see, there are no changes have taken place over here. So first, if you see over here, we, where I showed you in the demo website, we clicked on the blog and we had different blog posts. For example, you can see over here, we have different blog posts. So let me show, let me first create different blogs, different posts. So I won't be creating any post. I'll just uh, install a plugin. So this is also very, this will also be very good for you. The thing which I'm going to show you now, I'll install a plugin called Faker Press. This is basically to install or to create fake or dummy post dummy pages. This is very important when you're creating a website for the first time and you don't have any content for now. Yeah, for us. So what you can do, you can just import some dummy content and you can see how your website lo will look like. Now activate this plugin. Fine. Now at the left hand side, you will see this faker press. Let's click on that. Okay. You have these options. Now what you have to do under faker press, you will see post. Now let's click on post. Now here you have to select the quantity. How many posts do you want? So I want only three. So I'll type in three over your date. I want today's date. Post. Yes, only post. Allow comments. Yes, allow comments. Rest everything is fine. Just leave everything. And at the bottom, just click on generate. Okay, so it has created three different posts. Let's click. Let's see. So at the left hand side, you will see this post. Click on post. And here we have three different dummy posts. Let's delete this hello world. Click on this trash. Now let's refresh this page. Okay, so we have three different posts over here. Okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. Let's click on this first post. Okay, so as you can see over here, it has some data, something over here. Now suppose as I said you, as I showed you in the demo website, let's see that again. Let's click on blog. This is the demo website which you created. Let's click on this. 
and here you'll see that some portion of the blog or some portion of the post is visible and the rest of the portion is not visible it is visible only for registered users so let's see how to do this come back to your website go to your dashboard and select any one of the post for example let's select this one click on edit okay so this is the post as you can see over here in the edit section if you see dollar as whatever it is written and this is the exact same post now you can see everything from top to bottom now suppose what i want to do i want to hide all this section this section from here till the bottom i want to show this post or this section only to people who are registered to my website so what i'll do i'll select this now here you'll see mp locker membership locker click on that now hide contents only for or show contents only for so i'll select hide con i'll select show contents only for target users okay fine what i'll do i'll select hide contents only for and the target users i'll select unregistered users so all the unregistered users whoever ha who has not registered on my website cannot see this and what will be the locker so let's select the locker we'll select first one locker with form you can see the preview over here we can change the design the text everything first let's select this click on save now if you see over here you get this short code at top and bottom here it is the bottom short code so if you know how to use short codes you can just put in anything under this short code and that thing will be hide okay now let's uh, every rest everything is fine just click on update now again come back to this post refresh and let's see whether the changes have taken place or not okay if you see we can read the complete post that is basically because we are already logged in as you can see we are the admin of this post that is basically because of that now let's see what happens when a new user who has not registered on our website sees this website and what happens so let's copy this thing let me open that in a new private tab so if you do want to do that you can click on this option if you're using chrome and here you have this option new incognito window i already have opened that so i'll go to that one i'll paste in this code and press enter okay so this is our website let's open the first post now here as you can see we can see the this portion but this uh, the below portion it says this content is logged login to unlock the uh, content okay so we are really successful this is what we wanted now i want to change this thing i want to change the style of the form i also want to change this text i want to add some more text so let us see how to do that again come back to your website to your dashboard and click on membership pro ultimate website and now from here select this inside locker from the top okay so here this is the one which we selected locker with form you will see this option over here edit option click on that okay so this is you can change the uh, name the name by, def by default is locker with form you can change the name here is the theme and so on let us first see this is the preview so let's first change the theme and see what happens so let's come and here is the locker theme by default zipped is selected now let's select the basic one now let's again scroll down and see the preview so this is the preview of how your basic theme looks like now let's again change the theme to star okay so this is how this star one looks like this is also looking really cool we have this icon this lock icon and at the bottom we have the form this is really looking nice let's see some more themes let's select this one magic transparent scroll down okay this one is also looking awesome so we have really good themes over here you can select anything which you like we have star i think already selected no yeah we already selected that so let's select the default one so very simple if you want a really really simple one you can select this default one you have this uh, zone let's select zone and this is also like uh, looking really really cool this zone one but i think i'll select uh, magic transparent was really looking cool okay so this is the one which i'll be using magic transparent you can add some custom css if you want to 
now this is the text the content is logged you can change this text from here first let's save the changes and see whether the theme has changed or not so i'll go to this page refresh the page now as you can see the theme has changed so this is working now let's change this text so again come back to this website click on edit and now let's change this text from this content is locked to maybe the content is available okay available spelling i don't know okay available only for registered users fine okay so this is the one this is what i want to say i want to say this content is available only for registered users login or register to unlock the content okay register now click on save changes come back to this website let's refresh and see the changes okay so we can see the changes over here this content is available only for registered users login or register to unlock the content so we are successful this is really useful and let's see what happens when someone clicks on this register okay so they get this option okay you have three different plans these plans are automatically created uh, by default uh, you can see these plans but we want to change these plans we also want to change how it looks like and so on so let's do that now again come back to your website now click on showcases and from here select this subscription plan okay here you can see there are three different plans which are already created now if you see over here this looks exactly like this okay so this is basically uh, actually there are different pages which are created and all the pages are linked so whenever you clicked on that register button you get this page so this page is by default already created and let's see those pages first before creating these different showcase uh, these different subscription plan and so on so let me click on pages and as you can see over here there are so many different pages which are already created this is account page redirect page login page logout page register page reset password page uh, subscription plan page okay all the pages are over here so let's see let's click on this let's click this edit button under subscription plan okay so this is the subscription plan so if you don't want to use this page if you want to create any different page so what you can do you can just copy this uh, short code from here add a new page so let me show that in a new tab and suppose you don't want to uh, name it subscription you want to name it something different so let me name it different okay the spelling is wrong i guess fine now what you have to do you just have to paste in this thing this short code and delete the short code from here and again now click on this publish button and this will become your uh, sub subscription page so whenever a person clicks on that register button he will be redirected to this page okay so we don't want to do this we want to use the same page which the the which is already created by the default website but i want to make some changes i don't want this i uh, ump this stands for indeed ultimate membership plugin the plugin which you're using i don't want this so i'll delete this i also want to change this slug the permalink over here i want only subscription plan over here so i'll delete this also i'll click on ok for example if you see in the demo website here is this uh, permalink and you'll see this iump subscription plan the title is also this iump so i don't want this i want only subscriptions plan to be written over here and i also don't want this sidebar in my subscription plan i want only my plans to be shown because in the demo website which we created let me show you that okay i let me open that in a new tab so this is the demo website let's click on this register button so as you can see in the demo website which we created the design is totally different and we also don't have any sidebar or anything so let's do the same for this one let's come back to our dashboard first let's center align this okay let, let we'll do that later on first we'll see the basic changes so at the bottom you'll see this ocean wp settings you have content layout you have sidebar the first one is content layout by default default is selected select default and select full width so we want a full width image or full width page now click on update 
Now again, come back to this page, refresh and let's see the changes have taken place or not. Okay, it says the page is could not be found because we have changed this slug. So let's click on back. Okay, now again from here, let's click on register. Now as you can see, we are getting this page, uh, subscription plan page and we have a full width page and this is really looking awesome. Now the only thing we have to do, we have to create different because we don't want this by default created subscription plan. We want to create our own subscription plan. We want to change the rate. We want to change this uh, text, the content and everything. We want to change the plan name and something. And we also want to change the theme. Okay, like this one. This is really looking awesome. Or if you like this one, then you can just make it default. So let's see how to do that. Again, come back to your dashboard. Now go to this membership pro plugin page. Now click on showcases subscription plans okay so from here you can change the theme for example by default blue premium theme is selected you can select the first one block box theme so this is how it looks like this is really looking ugly i don't want this let's select the business theme okay this is looking nice but not that good let's select the third one sample theme no serious theme no Blue premium is the default theme, which is already selected. So I don't want that. Let's select this sixth one. Oh yeah. So this is the one which I have used in my website and that is really looking good. Let's select the last one green premium. This is also looking cool. So what I'll do, I'll use this one because I have already used the, uh, this, I have already used this effect premium one in the demo website. So in this website, I'll use this green premium one. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Click on save changes. Again, come back to this page, refresh and let's see the changes have taken place. Yes, the changes have taken place. Now let's change the designs from here or the content, act the actual thing, the price and so on. Again, come back over here. Now click on levels. Now, if you see there are three different levels which are already created and these are the three different thing which we see over here, free, one-time plan and recurring plan. Here also you can see free one-time plan and recurring plan. So if you want, you can delete this and you, you can create your own. For I don't want all these things, so I'll delete this. I'll delete all the three and I'll click, I'll create my own three different plans, okay? So let's click on this add new button, add new level. You can name, uh, you can put in any slug, for example, just type in free level uh, level label so this is the level label what it says it says free so i'll type in free over here now access lifetime access or limited access or date range or regular period so i want to provide lifetime access now you just have to uh, leave this to default because this says custom wp role so by default, default registration option is selected and make sure you select that one because if you select some different thing, if you select pending, so what will happen if a user registers for your website, he won't be uh, activated immediately. He will be under pending position, under pending status and you will have to manually activate that account. So that is not recommended. Make sure it is default register options. Special week, week days level work entire week. So if the level is set to block and available only to weekdays during the weekends, the restriction will be off. So there are, for example, you can cre uh, create a package, a subscription plan, wherein if the person purchase that subscription plan, you, he can only read all those posts or he can visit your website or he can visit the premium section of the website only on weekends. So you can also do so if you select weekends from here, then those uh, things will be available to him only on weekends. Or if you select weekdays, then uh, it will be available only on weekdays, but I'll select entire week from here. Now payment type. So we are the first one is free payment, the free account. So I'm selecting free. Now what you want to say over here. Okay. So if you see, this is the thing which we have to type free level, whatever you want to type. So this, whatever we type over there will come over here. Okay. So let's see, let's copy. Okay. So let's copy and paste this over here under text. Now price text. So whatever you type under price text will show over here. So here it is written free. So whatever you type here, it will show on for example, oh no, not here, here. I'm sorry. 
sign up now here it is written so i'll also type in sign up now click on save level and we have deleted those levels so let's refresh and we should see only one level over here okay so we can see only one level because we have deleted those level and this is the one which we just created so let's make some more or let's create some new levels now again click on add new level now let us give a different slug for example one time okay so one time level label label so we are will type one time payment fine yes lifetime access uh, the person who uses this plan he will have lifetime access to your website okay if you want to provide limited access for one year or two year one month two month you can do so we'll see that option in the recurring plan first or you can also have date range from for example from this day to this day and if after this expires what you want to do so if suppose after this plan expires you want to, uh, that person to move on to the free account you can also do so so you can also select the regular period now we are selecting the lifetime period because this is one time payment now these options are same now payment type will change this to payment and we can put in any price for example i'm putting hundred dollars so for lifetime access he will have to uh, spend hundred dollars now this is the text whatever will come over here so we have deleted this let me go to the demo website so here it says premium content it is whatever it is written i'll just copy and paste it over here you can also change few things for example if you want to make everything center align you can do so if you want to make it bold you can select this and click on this bold uh, example if you see over here everything is bold so we can do that also now price text again here it uh, this is the price text and the plan which we are creating here it will come the price text so it is hundred dollars so we'll type in hundred dollars over there so let's come back over here and let's type in hundred dollars only okay fine now click on save level now again come back to our demo website this is the one let's refresh okay so you can see we have hundred dollar one over here and we have everything center aligned this is bold this is the normal paragraph now let's create the last one let's click on add new level and let's give a slug so we'll type in recurring level label so we'll type in recurring again now basically this is a recurring plan so we will select uh, regular period over here and we'll select one month or you can select different things two weeks one year or so on so basically what will happen when the uh, when the user is uh, sign signing up with the recurring plan he will have access to all the premium things for one month and when the month expires he because this is a recurring period he will again be charged the amount and then again he'll his subscription period will be renewed for the next month and so on so basically this is a continue process and what happens if this thing expires okay so you can select anything from that these are the same options now from the billing option you can select payment and here you have different option for example level price so we want to price it at ten dollars because the one time payment is hundred dollars so we want to provide this monthly payment to ten dollars now billing cycle ongoing or limited if you select limited limit limited to how many months or limited to how many payments and so on if you want to provide only trial period and so on okay so we'll select ongoing because this is a wrecking ring plan and every month he will have to renew the plan now trial period offer he will get a trial period if you want okay and you can charge different price for that for example if you want to give him a trial of your website for one day or two day then you can select one or two for example for three days i'm selecting three days and i'll charge two dollars for that or three dollars for that so he'll be charged three dollars and he'll have access to the website for three days and after three days have expired he will be charged ten dollars and then uh, every month he'll be charged ten dollars and so on so this is very very useful and uh, you can see that this is really very professionally built everything is you know very awesome and very useful things now again we have this description over here so let's see what description we can put let's copy this description from here 
let's paste in over here so you can type in anything over here now price text will type in ten dollars only or you can type in only ten dollars obviously now click on save level now again come back to this website here it is let's refresh okay so we have three different plans over here if you see over here the color of this text is black we want white uh, this is black basically because we copied and pasted everything now let's select the recurring plan let's go at the bottom let's select everything from here cut it go to text and paste it over here and this was bold so we'll select this one we'll select b to make it bold click on save now again come back over here let's refresh now as you can see everything is white and this is looking much better so we have completed the subscription plan i showed you how you can have different pages for this one so we see we have seen how to create different page how to change the page name and how to create different subscription plans how to change the style and so on now let's see what happens when we click on this sign up button okay so this is how this is what will happen you will go to the register page here as you can see register page and in the register page you will see this registration form and the price and at the left hand side you have this sidebar but let's see what happens when we click on this on the uh, demo website so let's click on this sign up now if you see over here our registration page is totally different we have a, a registration form which is really beautiful and we also have a login form over here and we don't have the sidebar okay here we have the sidebar and the registration form is not that good so let's change all these things again come back to the dashboard go to pages first let's change the name of the page so this is the register page as you can see and you'll see this register page tag on that let's click on edit and again i don't want this i u m p whatever i just want to have the register and also want to delete this from slug this is basically the link if you see over here if you see over here let me show this over here you have i u m p dash register and so on so we don't want that we want only register so this that's why we are doing this okay then if you see over here we have only register code but as i said you earlier we we'll, we want to add login page also so for that there are different short codes so this is the short code for register what i'll do i'll copy and paste in a new tab okay here it is so I, so that i can remember this now I, i'll go to pages again first i'll save everything let's click on update okay then i'll click on all pages because we now we want to copy the short code for login page also because we want the login section also over here so this is the login page let's click on edit now let's copy this also this short code also let's paste it over here now go to pages again now again go to register page click on edit the first thing what we have to do is we have to make this full width okay here as you can see now it is not full width we have a sidebar we don't want this sidebar we want something awesome like this where we don't have any sidebar only the main content is over here so we'll have to make it full width so below you will see this content layout under wp settings so from here select full width and click on update now let's refresh this page and see the changes not this page this one let's refresh this okay it says the page could not be found because we have changed the slug so let's put in register over here okay and let's select any plan okay so we don't have this sidebar now we have a full width page now let's do some more changes let's bring the login form over here like we have over here again come back over here now click on edit with elementor so this is the best page builder a free page builder which we are using and we uh, we have already installed this if you remember it is available with the uh, with the theme which we installed okay so here we have the uh, code for register now what i'll do i'll click on i'll hover over here okay so we get this option edit column and after that we have an option to duplicate column i will duplicate column 
so i have the same thing again over here but i want to change the uh, code from here this is again the register code so i'll click on over here and i'll get this option at the left hand side now from here i'll copy this code this short code this is the one for login form and i'll paste it over here okay so i have the register page at the left hand side and the login page at the right hand side if you want to make it center align you can do so you can select this and you can you know you you have more option if you click on this toggle toolbar you have this center align so this will become center align if you want uh, this is the one for center align you can make this one also center align okay and if you see in the demo website i have also given some title at the top register here and login here so let's add those title also again click on this button it will bring you over here now select this heading bring it over here and this this here it says this is heading element type in register here and make it center align you can change the text and so on under style select color you can change the text color to anything you want okay black red blue if you want to learn more about how to use uh, Elementor, how to create a website with Elementor, you can go to my channel youtube.com slash Nayashake and you can watch this video over here. Okay, let me show you the video. Okay, this is the video how to make a WordPress website using Elementor Pro, using Elementor free theme actually. The, this I have created a really beautiful website using this uh, page builder which you are just using and i have recently created a new video on how to create an e-commerce website using the same page builder because it is a free page builder and it is really good and i have really used it well so let's come back over here you can change the color you can change the font from here you can change the font style for example you can select actor and you can see the font has changed you can see, change the size of the font okay and so on there are many different options let's click on save because this is uh now what i'll do i'll just copy everything duplicate this and i'll drag it uh, over here so that i don't have to uh, create it again i'll just change the text instead of log uh, register here i'll type in login here the rest everything will be good now click on save okay now let's come back to our page over here let's refresh Okay, so as you can see, we have the login page over here. We have the register page over here. But now still we have not changed the design of the registration form. Here the design is really cool, really nice. But here the design is not that good. So let's change the design of the registration form. So let's cut everything. We Let's cut this portion and let's come to the dashboard. Now again, go to membership pro uh, plugin go to showcases and register form okay so this is the registration form you will see this uh, preview over here now let's change the template by default the template 9 is selected radius theme let's select the first one the standard theme okay so this is how it looks like not good actually let's select the second one basic not good again blue box okay so this is looking nice blue box is really looking nice let's select some more let's see all those different options placeholder this is good but we don't want this strong theme not good at all double strong theme so when you select double double anything we have <laughs> we have two three different themes which says double strong double something so when you select that you will have this form into two different sections as you can see here is the first section this form and the second section is over here okay so let's select the okay let's select this one black box theme back box theme actually i think this is the one which we have used back box so we'll select this but let's see some more options simple border not good bootstrap theme okay this is also good you can also use this one this is also look looking really nice double simple border and so on double radius double bootstrap so i'll select this one which we have used uh, that was back box i guess yes this is the one back box i have selected this one so i'll select this one now you can uh, select all these options from here level setting subscription plan yes we want to show subscription plan over here 
wp role subscriber what will happen if the user subscribes for any of the any of the subscription plan what will be his role so we his role will obviously be subscriber so select subscriber from here and rest everything is fine don't have to do any changes and you can just change the uh, text from here for example if you see this page here it says accept our terms and services if you want to change this you can change the text for example let's add this some gap over here accept our terms and conditions so instead of conditions i want to type accept our terms and terms terms of services so you can change that text over here click on save changes now again let's come back to this page refresh and everything should be fine okay so you can see we have this registration form and we have accept our terms of services instead of terms and conditions okay so we have successfully done this now let's see how to change the design and options for login form again come back to this dashboard click on showcases now select login form Okay, so this is the uh, form which we are giving. If you want to, if you want to use reCAPTCHA, you can select. You can just click on uh, reCAPTCHA over here. So basically, what that will do is is that it will add that CAPTCHA setting so that no one can just spam your spam your box or something. So if you want, you can select that. If you don't want, you can just untick this. So social media login buttons. Yes, we want that, and we'll use that later on. We'll we'll have to create that. Uh, step by step we'll see that later on first let's see the different templates or different designs for this one by default the simple bootstrap theme is selected let's see different themes let's see the standard theme so this is not really good basic theme blue box theme this is also looking really nice green box theme labels theme premium theme double long not good border pink this is looking nice radius border this is also looking nice simple bootstrap i think this is the one which i have used the default one so let's click on save changes okay now let's see no changes should take place because this is the same uh, form but we have to add some option over here if you see this uh, the demo website we have this a login with Twitter, uh, Twitter login or sign up with Google and so on. So let's add those options over here. To add those options on your website, uh, come back to your dashboard, click on membership pro website and click on this social login. Now we have different options over here, for example, Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn and so on, Instagram. So whatever you want to enable, you can enable that. For example, in the demo website, we have enabled Twitter and Google. So let's do that. First click on Twitter. Okay, so first you will need application key and application secret and it is really easy to get that. Don't worry. Here you have all these steps which you need. First go to this link. So open this link in a new tab. Let's cut all these things. Now first you have to log in over here i am already logged in because i have a, a twitter account you can follow me on twitter if you want now click on create new app i have already created three apps if you see over here this is the app which i created for the uh, demo website now click on create new app now you can give it any name for example nayers memberships anything like that so let's Nayers members okay Nayers members will be fine now you can put in any description i don't want to put in any okay i'm just typing in membership now you can you have to put in the website okay so let copy the url of your website and paste it over here and under callback url again paste in your url and just tick mark this i have read and agreed to the to a twitter develop developer agreement now click on create your twitter application okay now at the bottom you'll see some different options like your let's see what we need we need application key and application secret so let's see those options okay access level callback url and so on let's click on over here keys and access tokens 
okay 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 now click on at the bottom you'll see your access token and uh, under token actions you'll see this button create my access token click on that okay here you have the consumer api and the consumer secret so this is the one which you have to copy so just copy this paste it over here okay don't want this gap so delete it and copy this from here and paste it under application application secret click on save or before clicking on save changes make this thing on and click on save changes fine let me delete this gap again click on save changes so you just have to copy these things consumer key and consumer api secret and let's come back to the demo website which we have created and let's refresh okay as you can see over here we have twitter and we can change the design for this also we'll see how to do that later on for example if you see over here the design over here is quite better than this one this is just a simple one but let's see whether it works or not because having a icon is not necessary whether that icon works or not that is more important so let's click on twitter so here as you can see it is working whenever anyone puts in their username password he can sign up with your website or sign in to your website now let's click on back now let's click here create another one again click on social login now select google from here this is uh, this will the google will be i think the most useful one because almost everyone has a gmail account so they might be you know they might use this account to, for all this to create a, a account with your website so this will be very useful you can click on now here you have to and click on this uh, I URL you have to open this URL in a new tab so let's open that in a new tab let's cut all these things now you can read all these things so it says create first create a new project go to social APIs select Google plus API and so on so let's follow these steps first let's click on create new app or create new project so here at the top you will see this thing i have already created two uh, over here if you want to create new you just click on this create project you can name it anything you want for example i'll just uh, name it uh, just leave it to the de uh, default one click on create okay now what you have to do you have to enable social apis okay so first click on enable apis and services at the top okay and you have to enable this one okay google plus api so you can copy this from here and paste it over here google plus api so this is the one which we have to enable google plus api click on that and uh, uh, it is already enabled as you can see uh, api enabled because I, as a, i have already done this for the demo website if you are doing this for the first time instead of manage you will see enable so just click on enable and everything will be fine okay so go to credentials now and at the credentials select oath 20 o client id so let's come back click on over here you will come back to this page now go to credentials now from here click on create credentials and select the second one oath client id and from here select web application you can name it anything you want and you have two different options uh, authorized javascript origin authorized redirect uris now come back over here you'll see a url or uri for your website just copy this you will have a different everyone will have different uh, url over here so what you have to do you just have to copy it from here and paste it under authorized redirect uris click on create again click on create okay it says after submit pop up will appear uh, with application id and application secret so let's see okay here you can see this pop up application id application secret just click on copy it has been copied paste it over here now copy the secret and paste it over here now click on save changes okay so let's come back to the website let's refresh and see whether the changes have taken place or not 
Okay, so we can see this Google. Let's click on this and see whether it works or not. So as you can see, it is working really good and this is really amazing. Now let's come back. So we have successfully added this. Now let's change the design for this button. So again, come back to your website. Go to social icons again. And let's see where is the design. Okay. Okay, here at the top, you will see this design. Click on design. Okay, so by default, awesome template one is selected and we don't have any preview. Okay, let's select this one. Let's select split box template, click on save changes. Okay, we don't have any preview. So we'll have to refresh the website to see the changes refresh. Okay, we can see the changes and this is actually looking really nice. This is really amazing. Now let's see some different themes, different templates. Let's select the third one shutter color template. Click on save changes again, come back over here, refresh. Okay, so this is also looking really nice. The animation is really awesome. Let's select some more Margarita template. Click on save changes. Refresh your website. Okay, I think this is the one which I have used, but I, this time I won't be using this one. Let's first see the last one Picasso template. Let's refresh. Okay, so this is also looking nice, but I really liked the second one that was the split box template. Click on save changes. Now let's refresh. I really like this one. So I'll, I'll be using this one. So this is how you change. Uh, this is how you change the design. And this is how you create different social logins. Now here you'll see this accept our terms of services. Let's click on this. Now we see there is a terms of service page, but there is nothing over here. So you can add your terms of server, your terms of services if you want. So let me show you how to do that. And we'll also change this title and this slug, this permalink and so on. So come back to your website, go to pages. You will have terms of service over here. This is the TOS page and you'll also get this uh, link terms of pay TOS page. Click on edit. Let me grab some lorem ipsum, some dummy text. So because I don't want to add my some anything, I just want to add some dummy text. Now I want to add some paragraphs. Click on generate lorem ipsum. Let's copy everything from here. And let's paste it over here. Fine. But I want to change the title. I just want, I don't want, I want just terms of services. Okay. So term okay just type in terms of services or whatever you want i want to type in terms of services i also want to change this slug i want the same thing over here so what i'll do i'll just copy and paste it over here and you can see everything is uh, uh, done automatically over here also here i want the sidebar i can uh, i want the sidebar i don't want it to be a full width page so I, I will not change anything from here. Everything will be default. Now click on update. Come back to this website, refresh. Okay, it says page not found, obviously. Now let's click on back or maybe let's cut this. Let's click on accept our terms of services. Now, as you can see, okay, let's cut this. Let's first refresh this website. Now again, click on accept our terms of services. Now you can see the title has changed terms of services. You have your own text over here. We'll see later on how to edit all this sidebar and so on. First, let's see all the payment option, how to accept payment because by far we have created almost everything. We have the registration page login over here. We have the social logins. We have the terms of services. Now this payment details are left. So let's do that. Come back to your dashboard, go to membership pro. Now from your select payment services, you have different options by default bank transfer is activated. I don't want to activate that. I want to deactivate that. So select bank bank transfer and make this thing off because no one uses bank transfer obviously, and that is not a good option. So we have make the, make that off. Now again, click on payment services from your. 
we want to enable paypal and i highly recommend stripe because you also have a ssl certificate uh, ssl certificate is required for stripe and stripe is really uh, amazing because stripe in stripe you can accept payment on your own website you, and in paypal the person has to go to paypal.com it uh, in fact you will be the person will be redirected to paypal.com and he can make the payment over there but in stripe yeah, the person or the customer can make the payment on your own website so that is really amazing but unfortunately i cannot show you how to use stripe because stripe is not currently available in my country in india if you're from us uk or those kind of countries uh, it will be surely available in your country i would recommend you to watch some video or to read some uh, go to stripe website and see how you can enable stripe but i highly recommend using stripe now i cannot use that so i'll use paypal uh, almost i think all the countries all the people who are seeing from wherever they are they can use paypal i guess so click on paypal now make this thing on put in the paypal email address on which you want to uh, accept payment so i want to accept payment at realnayar at gmail.com if any one of you are generous enough to donate some money you can donate uh, on my paypal uh, address at realnayar at gmail.com okay i'll be really uh, happy for that redirect after payment so what you want where you want to where you want your user to redirect after the payment so what you can do you can create a thank you page and after the payment has done you can redirect that pay uh, redirect the person to the thank you page so that would be really awesome if you don't want to do that if you want to redirect the person to the home page you can select home page from here we haven't created the home page yet we'll create it uh, we'll create it now don't worry okay so paypal order number one everything is fine just click on save changes and you don't have to do anything over here okay once you click on save changes it says default payment gateway isn't uh, it's it's not activated or properly set don't worry about that now here you'll see this payment setting click on payment settings okay you have to select the currency for example us dollars currency custom code we don't want any uh, code uh, currency position left or right i'll select left B uh, default payment gateway i'll select paypal which i have just created and save payment logs in the database yes that is really recommended now click on save changes okay now we don't get that uh, option we don't get that error which means that uh, the payment is successfully activated now click on payment services and here you can see now everything is fine you can use some more payment options there are many different payment option authorize.net to check out stripe bank transfer brain tree paysa i have always used paypal uh, so i have used it over here if you want to use these things you can see the documentation of this theme membership pro ultimate uh, wordpress so you can see the uh, documentation and that will really help you okay so we have successfully set up the payment options also now let's see how to create the redirect page or the redirect option for example when i showed you in the uh, demo website if you remember this is the demo website uh, there is a link or some page or some post when someone for example this is the download theme link uh, so a user who has who, are, who is using some uh, subscription plan he, ca he can download that but different people who are not using that they cannot download that and when they try to download that let's see what happens let's click on download theme so this is what happens now uh, you they get a message this page is only available for premium level users for unregistered or other level users it is restricted so let's do this let's see how to create this thing again come back to your dashboard go to pages because this page is already created again uh, if you see redirect page let's search for redirect page okay here it is here it says redirect page so this is the one let's edit and change everything from here first let's change this thing the title let's relate i u m p you can uh, just you know name it anything uh, uh, it is by default it is default redirect page you can change that you can change this slug from here so i want to remove this i u m p click on ok fine at present here only redirect is typed i want to change that i want to type something like this so what i'll do i'll copy this text 
paste it over here. So this page is only available for premium level users. So instead of premium level users is you can type uh, uh, one time payment users. Okay. Or you can just type in this page is only available for people who have signed up with the one time payment subscription and for unregistered or other level users the page is restricted and the content is replaced with this one. If you don't uh, this page is restricted I don't want this the content is replaced with anyone or so I will just delete that and I want only this much and if you see over here at the bottom we also have this options subscription plan and this is really amazing and this is this does make sense because if you are redirecting the person and you are saying that the, uh, this page is available only for someone and then you should also provide the link okay fine this is available for premium level so now the person is searching where is the premium level how can I sign up with premium level so you're giving him the options over here so let's see how to do that so this is the one first make this thing full width from the bottom uh, again content layout you select full width because here if you see this is a full width page now click on update now for now we have the text over here okay we have this text now we'll have to add these things so you don't have to worry about that you just have to copy the short code so again go to all pages search for a subscription plan this is the subscription plan page click on edit okay just copy this uh, short code from here go to all pages again and uh, we were on redirect pages yes, click on edit now paste in this code at the bottom you can make it center align if you want let's make it center align now from here you have to do some changes so show pages only so I'll select show page only for whom for one time payment okay so, so one time is selected if you want to show this page to both one time and the person who is using recurring you can select both so if you see over here both one time and recurring are selected but I want to show this to only one to those person who are using one time subscription plan so I'll cut this recurring from here and if if they are not allowed what will, what should happen so if the person is not allowed what okay okay wait 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 we don't have to do these changes over here this is i'm sorry just cut this thing everything okay this is it this is it you don't have to do anything over here just click on update because this is the redirect page this is the redirected page and first now we will create a page uh, which will be unaccessible and after that we will redirect them to this page okay so don't worry about that you can view this page let's view this page in a new tab let's see how it looks like okay so this is how it looks like this page is available only for blah 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 and you have all these options let's cut this thing so now let's create a page or a post which is you know premium and it is available only for you know some user or some someone so let's see how to do that let's click on add new over here to add a new page so again I'll use the same option download theme so I'll just type in download theme I always type in wrong spelling okay download theme and you can have the theme link or theme uh, whatever over here so what I'll do I'll again just put in some lorem ipsum over here copy and paste it over here okay so this is uh, now we have to do the changes over here now from bottom you can select whether you want to make it right sidebar left sidebar full width 100% full width and so on. Now the main option is over here under ultimate membership pro at the top. So we want to show this page only for people who have subscribed for the one time plan okay. And uh, if you want to select again if you want to show this to both one time and recurring plan users you can select both. I I will just cut this recurring plan because I want to show this page only to the one time users. Now what should happen if they are not uh, the person who are using the one time plan? Suppose the person is has registered for the website but he is he has just re registered for the free plan, free subscription plan or the recurring plan. So we want to redirect them or you can just replace this content. Okay? So but I don't want to replace that. I want to redirect the page. So I want to redirect them to the redirect page which we just created. Okay, where is that? 
okay this is the one which which which, which we just created default redirect page so what uh, when the person cl clicks on this page he'll be redirected to this uh, this page which we just created the redirect page okay let's see how it works now let's click on publish okay so let's uh, we have seen how to do that now before creating uh, before seeing that first we'll have to create the menu because in the menu we have this download theme page so first for that we'll have to create a menu so let's do that come back to your dashboard at the bottom you will see this appearances hover appearances and click on menus now we have to create a new menu you can name it anything i always name main menu so i'll select main menu click on create menu now whatever you want to include over here you can include that just make sure that you select this main from here click on save I'll not do those things over here because few things are still left. I didn't create the home page and the blog page. We have the download page, uh, register page, my account page and everything. But we we haven't created the home page and the blog page. So first let's do that. Hover pages, click on add new. Okay, so in the title just type in home and just click on publish. And also we want to make this uh, uh, full width. So let's select full width from here and again click on update. Now click on add new to add a new page. Now in the title type in blog. Click on publish. Okay, so now we have created both the pages. Now we can clear create the menu. So I'll click on appearance, hover appearances, click on menus. We have created the main menu, but we haven't added anything. So let's add. We want to add home page, blog page, download theme page. And what page we want to add? We want to add login page. Okay, maybe not login page, register page. Because in the register page, we have both login and register options. And my account page. Click on add to menu. Okay, so let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fine. At the top, we want the home page. Then we want this download theme button. Then we want the blog page, then register, then account page. Fine. Now I want to change the name of this account page to just my account. Okay. So I'll change this to my account. Fine. And instead of register, I'll type in register slash login because we have both the options over there. Now let's add this icons over here. If you see uh, this, we, we have this beautiful icons. So let's add those. Let's select the home page first. At the bottom, you will see this icon. Click on select. Now here uh, under the search media, type in home. Select this home. Click on select. And you can see this uh, icon over here. Now select the download theme. Now because this is a WordPress theme, uh, I'll select WordPress from here. So I'll type in WordPress. I'll select this one. Click on select. Third one is blog. Now select this icon. Now there is no uh, any there is no proper icon for blog. So what I'll do, do I'll just type in B and just select a numeric B from here. You can select this Bitcoin also. I'll select this bold icon. Okay. And click on select. Now we have register login. So let's do that. Let's select the icon and let's search for user. Let's select this one user. Click on save. Now click on add my account. Select the icon. Again, we want to use user, but different uh, icon. We want to use this one uh, uh, now. Click on select. Now click on save menu, go to the demo website, which you have created. So this is the one refresh the website and you can see the uh, menu is present over here, but there is one problem again. What happens? Let's see what happens when we click on home. If you see over here, we get a blank page and we also get this, uh, our domain name slash home, but that should not happen. Let's click on uh, this demo website. Let's click on home. 
So as you can see, we are redirected to the home page. We don't have any slash home or slash anything. So basically we have created a new page which is named home, but this is not actually our home page. So let's make this our home page and let's make this blog page as our blog page. For example, if you click on this blog, you get nothing over here. This is just a blank page, but we want to make this page as our blog page, which means we want to show all our blog post in this page. So let's do that. Come back to your dashboard, hover settings, click on readings or no, yeah, click on readings. Now select a static page and front page, select your home page and in the post page, select the block page, click on save changes. Again, go back to your website, refresh. Okay, so you can see now we have different blocks under the blog page and when we click on this home page, we don't get that slash home or something because this has become our home page. Now let's see what happens when we click on this download theme because we have created this page and we have made that as restricted page. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, when we clicked on that page, we are redirected to the default redirect page, which we created. And it says this page is only available for one time payment users. Okay, so this is working and this is really nice. Let's see what happens when we click on register login. Okay, so again, we get this option. We have to register. We, we have to select any one of these and then we have to register from here. So this is really working well. This is really looking nice. Let's click on home page. Now let's click on my account page. So as you can see, when we click on my account, it is asking to first, uh, you know, sign, sign in only then obviously we can see the my account, but let's see, let's open this in this, uh, in this web, in this page. So let's open this link in a new tab and let's open this website in over here because here we are already logged in. Let's click on my account. Okay. So this is how your my account will look like. Now here, I don't want this uh, sidebar. If you see in the demo website, let me go to the demo website. Okay. Let, let us see from here only. This is the demo website. Let's click on my account. You can see in the demo website, this is really looking beautiful and we don't have any sidebar. So let's remove this sidebar and there is different designs for this one. Let's see how to get that. So again, come back to this uh, dashboard. Go to pages. Now select the one which says my account. So let's select this uh, user. Here is this account page. It will say user page. Click on edit. First we want to change the title. Obviously we don't want this IUMP. So we'll delete that. We also want to delete this slug. We want only my account. So we don't want uh, over here. We want my domain name slash my account. So whenever anyone uh, goes to nayashek.com slash my account, if he's already logged in, he'll go or he'll visit his account or he'll visit this page, the account page. Okay. And you have this account short code over here. And from the bottom, select full width because we want to make it full width. Now let's update this page. Click on update. Come back to this page, refresh. Okay, so it says the page is not found, but let's click on this my account. Okay, so as you can see, now we have this my account over here, the account page title is changed and we have this beautiful design. Now let's see how to change this design. So again, come back to your dashboard, click on membership pro. Now click on showcases. Click on account page. Okay, so this is the account page. Let's go to the bottom. Okay, we don't have any preview, I guess. Okay, there's no preview. Don't worry. Let's select one by one. So by default, uh, the second one is selected square top image. Let's select the first one and see the changes. Basic full uh, background theme. Let's click on save changes. Let's come back to this page and refresh. Okay, so you can see the design has changed. Okay, we see the gravatar over here. Hello, Nayar, you're logged in as Nayar Sheikh, your member since this date. 
overview hi there this is the overview section enjoy the sun and so on you can change this text and everything now let's see the last uh, template which we have rounded big image theme and click on save changes again come back over here refresh the page okay so this is how it looks like so you can change it according to your need now you can here you have this hello last name first name so here hello you are logged in as Nayar Sheikh so if you want to make changes over here you can just uh, uh, change it from here okay you are logged in as Nayar Sheikh so if you want to add some more text for example instead of this we can add some just we can just type in something like no welcome to my website or something okay now let's click on save changes let's refresh this page now we get this welcome to my website so the it is all up to you you can control everything from here you know you, you can change this thing also yeah you are also getting this short code flag member scenes and user registered so you're getting this thing over here. You can add some more text. You have some more uh, con uh, constants, some more shortcuts over here. Account page, login, blog name, blog URL, IHC avatar. If you want to display the avatar over here also, you can just you know select this uh, code and paste it over here. Then there are many different things, country and blah, blah, blah. You can have, you can change the background image from here. For example, instead of this image, you want some custom image, you can select this, you can upload that image from here. Now this is the con uh, content section template. By default, the blue new theme is selected. You can change this to dark theme if you want. Let's select dark theme and click on save changes. Again, come back to this website, refresh. Now as you can see, instead of blue, we have this gray section. Okay, so that is the change that has taken place and you can also change this text like overview. Hi there, this is a overview page, enjoy the sun and so on. You can change this text. Okay, you just have to change it from here. Hi there, blah, blah, blah. So you can change it anything from here. You can again add something like hi Nayar Sheikh. Okay, so if uh, a, what you can do, you can just copy this uh, text from here username for username or first for first name and last name okay for example let me just copy this thing first name and last name and let me put over here instead of hi there i'll put put in hi nayar shake okay so i'll delete this hi first name nayar and last name shake so i'll just search for last name here is the last name short code for last name so I'll here it's it will say hi first name last name this is the overview section let's click on save changes refresh this page I have not put my first name and last name over here that's why I'm getting blank let me put that and let's see whether that works or not okay so as you can see over here there's nothing in the first name last name so I'll put in a year over here and in the last name I'll put in shake Re update the profile okay then again coming back to the website my account page okay here it says hi Nayar Sheikh this is the overview section enjoy the sun so you can play around with this this is really awesome you can add some more thing you can add this flag and so on then we have this footer section we don't have anything under the footer section you can add anything for example this is the footer section to see where everything will be done over here click on save changes refresh this page and as you can see over here you, you can see this text this is the footer section okay so this section will be present under all the uh, sections uh, over here okay let's see some other options okay now at the at the end you have this custom css and you don't have any more options over here now let's click on this this is the overview when we click on this profile 
you can see that the user can change uh, his first name last name for example this thing is available only for you the admin but this won't be available for the user who is uh, registering to your website as a subscriber so this black bar will not be available to them so you saw just you just now you saw that i changed my first name last name from here but you can do so the user can do so by going to profile and changing it from first name last name you can change the password he can change the profile image and so on now when you go to subscription you see the subscription plan which you are using we are not using any plan at present so we are not seeing anything we are just seeing the default template when you go to social plus we see these two options over here order transaction and so on you can log out from here so these are the different options which we get under my account now only two options are left two things are left to create in this website the first one is this as you can see over here this sidebar we have the search bar we have the sign in box over here and we have the social icons and there are many different things that you can add under the sidebar i have added these three you there are many different things that you can add over here and the second thing which is left is the home page so we have to create the home page okay so this is the top section we have the features we have the plans over here and below that if you see if you have follow if you are following my channel you see that this section from from this section i have everything which i have created earlier in the website in the uh, how to make a website with wordpress section in that video so what we'll do we'll create this section the first section third section and the uh, second section and the third section and from here we don't even have to create anything i'll show you how to import everything i'll give you free layouts from my side you don't have to create anything and you will have everything like this you just have to change the text if you want this if you don't want this section you can delete this section if you want this section but you want to change the information you can do so if you want to change the social icons you can do everything okay so this will be really helpful for you so first let's click uh, let's create this sidebar the sidebar which we have over here so come back to your dashboard hover appearances and click on widgets now by default we have this sidebar the search bar the recent post and so on i want this search bar at the top but i don't want anything over here so i'll delete all these things recent comments archives categories metadata and so on we don't want anything we just want the search bar and after that we have this sign in uh, form over here so let's search for that i don't i think we don't have that i have used the custom code for that so what i'll do i'll you click select this custom st html and i'll select right sidebar and click on add widget so we have added this widget we'll give a title for example if you see over here this is the title sign in here so i'll give the same title and in the content we have to type in the code okay so we'll get get that under pages let's open pages in a new tab and this is the login page so click on edit now just copy this shortcode from here and paste it over here under widgets click on save now go to your demo website so this is the one and by default as you can see this is present but when we refresh the things should change okay so we have the search bar we have the title over here sign in here we also have this uh, sign in or sign up uh, button over here so this is really cool now let's add these things the social icons and the title will be followers you can change the title obviously so again come back over here under widgets and let's search for social icons here it is again select right sidebar click on add widget the title is followers you can change the title there is different style light dark colored simple let's first select the light one transition you can give some transition we'll see that later on you can change the size of this uh, font the size of the icon and so on border radius we'll see that later first let's put in all the uh, different uh, social links your twitter link your facebook instagram link so i do use twitter so i'll type in www 
twitter.com slash real mayor okay so you guys can follow me over here and facebook i guess it is almost the same i think it is real nayar facebook.com real nayar i think i don't know just okay so facebook.com slash real nayar i don't want uh, instagram and so on and where is youtube my favorite here it is youtube.com so youtube i have youtube.com slash nayar shake so i'll copy this paste it over here okay where is that okay youtube fine youtube.com slash nayar shake i'll click on save changes let's see how it looks like at present let's refresh this page okay so as you can see over here followers we have twitter blah 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 let's click on twitter and as you can see it has redirected to this my twitter handle now again when you do so and here you have the title you have this design by default the light theme is selected let's change the theme and see what uh, are the changes that take place so let's change the style from light to dark and again click on save changes again come back over here refresh this page now as you can see the style has changed now we get this black icon and we have a different hover effect when we hover this icon we can see the exact color of that thing okay now let's see some more designs and more transitions now let's select the colored one i think i'm using the colored one in the demo website let's select color click on save again come back over here refresh okay so i was using the colored one this is really looking beautiful and here as you can see i've used the same one now there are more options let's see how to use those options now we have seen the style there is one more style simple you can see that now we have transition float rotate zoom out okay so let's first select float and see what this is click on save again come back over here refresh now if you hover over this you can see that there is some transition the icon floats up okay so that is the transition that is basically the animation you can say now let's change this transition to rotate click on save again come back to this website refresh let's hover this now as you can see the transition has changed so you can also use that and there is one more option very useful option let me show you that okay where it is here it is okay you can see uh, first there is this link target if you want to uh, open this link in a new tab you can select blank if you want to open this link in the same tab you can select self from here now you have the dimension for example you can select 50 pixels from here okay let's select 50 pixels let's save and see the changes that take place let's come here let's refresh now if you see that the size of these icons have changed okay you can increase or decrease the size let's make it 100 pixels and see what happens click on save again come back over here refresh now as you can see the size of the uh, icon has again changed so you can change you can increase or decrease the size of the icon okay now you have some more option if you want to this actually has changed the size of the box not the icon you can see now we have a very big box but the icon is still small so let's change the size of the icon so you have to put in the font size for example let's put in 60 pixels over here let's click on save again come back over here click on refresh now as you can see we have a bigger icon and we also have a bigger box so that is uh, very useful and you can change the radius for example if you put over here uh, maybe 20 pixels would be fine let's see what happens when we put 20 pixels that is basically to change the radius let's refresh now as you can see now instead of square it has uh, it has become some really beautiful we have these corners which has got circular when you increase this instead of 20 you if you make it instead of 60 where it is instead of 20 if you make it 100 or 200 it will become more circular so let's try 100 pixels let's again refresh 
now as you can see it has become perfect circle so this is really good really useful you can it's all up to you how you want to use it and what kind of design do you want okay so we have completed the sidebar also now the one thing which is left is the home page we don't have anything over here so let's see how to create the home page first let's remove this we don't want this home title over here because if you see the demo website let me show the show you the demo website we have these uh, this full width image at the top and we don't have any title or so on but here we have the title first we'll have to remove this title after that we can continue uh, creating the home page so come back to your dashboard again now go to pages now select the home page let's search for home page okay where is that we have created a home page i guess here it is home page click on edit you can add these things under home page also if you want the uh, if you don't want anyone to show your home see your home page you can select the same options over here if you want to show your home page only to register users or so on you can add the same options over here also it's all up to you now we have the full width uh, thing over here which is fine now you will see this title go to title the first option is display page title make it disable because you don't want this page title there may may more options like header if you want to uh, disable header if you want to disable logo or if you want to add different logo for home page and different logo for different page you can also do that you can have different menu for different pages so this theme is actually free theme but it is really powerful theme so we don't want to do all those changes we just want to make it full width and we don't want to make the page title disable and click on update now let's again refresh this page okay so that title is gone and now we can work on this theme so again come back over here and now click on edit with elementor now it's time to start creating our website uh, like this one okay so first there is a full width image in the background and on top we have some text for example let's copy this text first come back over here let's drag this heading and instead of this title you can type in your own title i'm just copying and pasting something and you can select the alignment i am selecting right align from here now let's change the font size the uh, typography and so on go to style change the font color let's see what color we have here we have the black color and the background is white okay so let's select black from here we want black font color typography let's increase the size of the font fine and you can change the font family for example if you want something thinner let's select able okay so this is looking nice you can select different forms there are many different fonts this is uh, alrich and this is allen there are many different fonts you can select any one uh, there are really cool ones this one is really nice uh, amita let's select the let's increase the size you can select the uh, or you can change the font weight for example if you select 400 it will become uh, thinner if you want 800 it will become more bolder so you can do this also and if you just uh, preview this you can select this and this is how it will look on your website and this is really looking cool now you can bring this back you can transfer you can make everything uppercase if you want if you select uppercase everything will become uppercase you can make everything lowercase if you want everything is lowercase now i will make this default you can change the style normal italic oblique line height we don't want to do that now okay or maybe you can do that okay if you want you can do these changes over here i just don't want to do that now you can also add text shadow for example let's sell, uh, select any color like green color okay you can change the transparency now you can see shadow around the text and you can increase change the vertical and uh, horizontal alignment to see the shadow so this is also a cool feature and this really looks beautiful 
you can add blue color uh, matching to your website okay because most of the thing on our website like the buttons and so everything are blue color so we can do that now we want to add a background color to this one so we'll go to advanced we have this background and we'll select background color and in the demo website i guess we have white yes we have white color over here so let's select classic okay let's select okay let's select classic uh, select this color select white you cannot see anything because the background is already white but if you select green or something you can see the changes so what we will do we'll we want to select white uh, we cannot see the changes because the background color is white we'll change that uh, in a moment first let's click on save now let's change the background color for the whole section uh, like we have over here we have a image in the background so let's put an image in the background how over here select this one go to style background select classic now instead of color we want back image so i'll select image from here we don't have anything in the media library we won't have this we have this cat by default i know how i don't know how this come how this came but i don't want to use this i'll click on upload files click on select files and i have this slider image over here i'll click on open insert media now click on save now you can see there is a, a background image now i want to add this background image i want to make this background image as full width so i'll select this layout i'll select i'll make this stretch section on now as you can see it is full width now and this is really looking nice you can change the height to fit to screen so you have this background image fit to screen if you want that you can make that that is really looking nice click on save now column position middle content position you can see it is in the default if you want the content at the top you can select top if you want your content at the bottom you can select bottom and so on there are different options click on save okay now you can see everything properly you can preview the site so this is how it looks like now let's say change some more options for example when you go to style you have more options like position center centers uh, bottom center size so select this size and make it cover now you can see this is looking much much better okay so we want cover click on save now we want to make some more changes so select this one okay select this one go to advance if you see over here uh, we have a good amount of background color and the text is in the middle and we have some padding at the top and bottom but here the text is bigger than the background color which is the white color so we want some uh, padding so under padding just type in 20 pixels okay now you can see this is looking much better you can preview this okay so this is really looking much better now click on save now again if you see in the demo website there is uh, some gap from the right hand side you can see there is all gap and this section is starting from here so i want to add some gap from both the sides i want this is starting from here i want to add some gap so let me do that in the margins first i'll uh, delink everything because if you uh, if you remember when i put 20 uh, in the top i got 20 for from all the sides but i don't want it over here so i'll delink that i want only right hand side so i'll put in maybe 50 pixels let's preview this now as you can see it has shifted a little uh, a bit now let's increase this to maybe 200 let's preview this okay so this has shifted more so this is how it looks like now i want to maybe make it 150 would be better let's preview okay so 150 is looking much better now click on save I'll have to change the size, decrease the size uh, I'll, or if I zoom out, I can say more, more properly. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll decrease the size of this uh, text so that I can see uh, this text in a single line. So I'll click on this text, go to style and decrease the size, okay, to 42 maybe. Click on save. Again, click on preview. 
so i can see this much better okay now let's add the second text this text which says with payment restriction and lock content you can add anything over here okay there are different websites actually which i have created as i showed you earlier you if you want to learn in detail how to use uh, this how to create how to design a website because this uh, video is not basically on designing website how to create a website this was basically on membership how to use that plugin how to use all those features on your website so we have already done that i'm just showing some extra things how to design a website if you want to learn this in detail you can see the video uh, you can see under my videos uh, which is uh, how to create a website with elementor uh, elementor page builder that will be more useful for you okay but what we'll do we'll continue over here so what i'll do i instead of creating everything again and again i'll just uh, copy this column or i'll maybe i'll just copy this whole uh, section over here so i'll just duplicate this fine now i want to change the text so let's change the text with payment restriction and locked content and this was right align you can make it left align it's all up to you it's all up to you how you design how you want to design the website or maybe you can make it center align it's all up to you now let's change the color of uh, the background color from white to maybe blue or something so here we have color the, this is the uh, color color shadow we want to change the uh, background color which is under advanced so go to advanced select background select color let's make this light green okay so there are different options you can make any color you can select any color this pink color or maybe this red color yellow color you can select any color you want okay okay so let's select this color click on save so this is how it is looking at present now we also have two different buttons over here so let's add those now bring this back click on this icon to come back bring this button over here okay, you just have to drag and drop this button let me zoom in a bit so that you can see more properly what's happening okay so i want this button to be right aligned so i'll click on this button i'll select right align so it will come over here i'll change the size of the button to medium if you can see everything properly and i'll change the text to in from click me to maybe buy now then go to style let's see what are the different options so here if you see the button is very beautiful it is a kind of circular button here the, the background color is transparent it has a uh, black border color and when we hover over this the background color becomes blue and the text color becomes uh, white so we'll create this button then after that we'll create this button come back to this page go to style select the background color we want to make it transparent so what you'll do you have two options over here the first one is the color on and the second one is opacity or transparency so the, we will make the transparency as zero now as you can see this button has also become transparent now we want to add some border so let's do that so and we also want to change the text color from white to black so select black text color select border type solid border with one pixel from all the side now you can see if you can see it is at the corner so i think it will be difficult for you to see but if you can see this is the button we have over here black background color black border color the text color is also black and the background is transparent now let's make it more circular so you'll see this border radius let's put 100 over here so when you put 100 pixels this is how it looks like okay so we have the normal button but what happens when we hover this nothing happens as you can see but here in the demo website when we hover this button it becomes blue so we want to make that okay now let's do one thing let's bring this button under this section okay uh, we added i think 150 pixels uh, from the margin at the right hand side so let's do the same for this one so go to advance delink everything and the right margin let's put 150 pixels so that we can see everything from here and this is looking much better it is according to this section 
Now let's make this hover effect. Again, come to style. Now, instead of normal, you have to click on hover. Okay. So what happens? Uh, what uh, is the text color on hover? So when we hover this button, we want the text color to turn white. So let's see. As you can see, the text color turns white, which is fine. And we want the background color to turn blue. Okay, so as you can see, now we have the text color white, background color blue. So this is how you create a button, click on save. Now you don't have to do everything uh, uh, again and again to make a, a new button. What we'll do, we'll copy this button. Okay, or maybe we'll copy this, uh, just click on over here. Click on copy widget, duplicate widget, and we have another button. And we have to make this under two different columns. So we'll add two columns over here. When we click on this button, we come over here and we'll bring these columns over here. So we have the column, we'll drag this button under this column. Okay, let's drag it. And the second button under over here, the second column. Okay, fine. So this is looking much better. So I'll select this button. I'll select right align from here. And if you remember, we uh, added 150 pixels margin, right? We'll have to remove that because we have added this in, under a column. So we'll select this button, we'll go to advance and we'll remove this, we'll make it zero. Fine, this is looking much better. Now we want to do some changes. We want to make this button left align. So we want both this button uh, to stay close and this is looking much better. Now we want to change the design of this button. Okay, we want to make it opposite. For example, if you see in the demo website, this was normally background uh, less transparent color. And when we hover, it became blue, but this one, it was blue. And when we hover, this becomes transparent. So we'll have to do this change. Come back over here, select the second button, go to style, the normal state in the normal state, it should be white text and background color should be blue. Okay. Not this color, the background color. So let's select the background color. Here it is select blue. And let's increase this transparency to fine. Now let's change the hover effect. Click on hover. We want the hover effect to be transparent and the text color to be black. Okay, so you can see the changes have taken place. You can click on save. You can pre preview this website. So this is how it looks like really amazing. You can preview this in a new tab. Okay, for example, this is the website. Let's refresh. Okay, so this is how it looks like you can see this is really looking amazing. Let's see some more changes. Let's see what we have to do next. So after this, uh, we have to let's see what I have to do now. So after this, we have to add this section, we have four different options over here, these icons, different colors, and this is really looking nice. So let's add this. This is basically features. So again, come back to this page, bring this thing back. Now click on this button and now we want to add icon box. So select this icon box, drag it over here. So by selecting that, we already have most of the options over here. We have the icon, the heading and the uh, content. We just have to change everything. For example, here the icon is lock. The tight, uh, the text, uh, the heading is locks and this is the uh, content which we have over here. So we can copy this content, come back over here. Now this is the icon. Let's select the icon. Let's change the icon type in lock and select this lock icon. You have this lock icon and we also have to change this style. So instead of in the view, you have this default, select this and select tagged. Now this is how it will look like. And instead of this is heading. Let's type in locks. Okay. Fine. And let's change this content. So this is looking much better. Now we don't have to do this again and again. What we'll do, we'll copy this thing four times. So this is how it looks like. Click on save. Let's see the preview. So this is looking much better. Now let's change different icons and different colors. So let's select the second one. Now the second one is payments and we have this PayPal uh, icon over there. So select the second one, choose icon, 
search for paypal here is the one paypal now the icon is changed you can change this uh, to pay payments if you want so this is basically the uh, services or the features of your website so you have to say select accordingly let's change the color over from here the background color so go to style you have this primary color select this and select any different color for example this green color is looking nice you can also change the uh, uh, the heading color to the same color or let's select the heading color we have this content over here in the content we have uh, the alignment the spacing and so on the this is the title the heading color you have the color you can select the same color so you have the same background color same heading color same background color same heading color click on save so you can follow this design let's select this third one and let's see the icon this is i don't know i think grids and it says pages and you can see the different options so let's change the icon let's search for grid there's nothing called grid so let's select any icon let's select this address card okay let's change the background color primary color to maybe this color okay as you can see over here and you can also make the same color over here the content color can also be uh, the same okay so we have the same content color same background color you can also add some animations or some hover effect for example uh, now what i want uh, suppose this is the color of the icon but uh, when someone hovers uh, hovers over this i want the effect to change so you can also add that you have this icon hover over here so suppose you want to change the color of the icon to maybe uh, or maybe uh, gray and the background color to maybe green so you can do so now let's see okay we cannot see the hover effect over here but when we save this thing and view this thing in a new page let's refresh this page let's hover over here okay i think we didn't do everything properly let's do it again uh, the color is uh, this one and the background color is this okay now as you can see the changes have taken place the primary color this is the hover effect so normally this is like this but when we hover this the uh, color of this thing changes you can also add some animations for example push let's see so as you can see the color is also changed and the animation is also there so this is really really cool feature so you can do uh, this for all these uh, settings over here now if you see this in a new page you will see that there is no gap at the top so let's add the some gap at the top so what we will do we will select the whole section so select this one go to advance and padding top you want to add some padding top maybe 50 pixels would be fine or maybe 70 pixels so 70 pixels click on save refresh the website now we have good amount of uh, space at the top let's add some space at the bottom let's add 50 pixels bottom click on save let's refresh again okay so we have some space at the bottom as well now let's see what we have to do next we have to add this uh, plans at the bottom so again we don't have to create it actually we just have to put it okay let's see come back over here and uh, in fact go to your dashboard go to pages now go to subscription plans let's see where this uh, here it is subscription plans click on edit copy this short code come over here click on this button now select uh, html text from yours here it is html and bring this thing in the new section okay so you just have to bring it over here and paste in this text over here you cannot see any changes over here but when we click on save changes and when you open this in a new tab let's open this in a new tab let's scroll down okay we cannot see it properly maybe because we forgot okay fine we didn't copy it properly forgot we forgot this thing uh, these uh, this bracket so let's copy it properly let's paste it over here click on save let's refresh this page 
and now as you can see we have this plans over here so you can easily do so you don't have to create it again and again you just have to copy and paste the short code wherever you want this to display okay so we have this plan also let's see what we need more now we need these sections the who are, who we are section meet our team section and so on so as i said you earlier i have already created all these sections in a new in our video the video title was how to make a website with element page builder you can see under my channel if you go to my channel and you will see this video over there so i'll show you how to create this all these things without in fact even creating it you just have to import it and you will be able to do the changes over here so let me show you that go to your dashboard okay so this is the dashboard at the left hand side you will see elementor however elementor click on my library and i am also giving you free templates uh, you can import those templates if you go there there will be a link in the video description below you can click on that link and you can download all these templates for free I have already downloaded that so I'll in import them click on import templates click on choose file and I think it will be under okay yeah here it is you'll see all these four files let me select the first one click on open the four files are for four different pages I have created the about us page contact us page services page and home page I have imported the home page as you can see now what happens now let me come back to this page let me refresh this page now let's scroll down and we have created till here till the subscription plan but you don't have to create the other section you just have to click on add template now click on my templates from here and you have this home page over here click on insert now as you can see you have so many things over here if you just click on preview you know you have this header so this was the header which i created but we here we have created a different header so you, we don't need this section so we can just delete this however this let me show you however this and click on this x button okay we don't want this section also because we have already created a similar section like this one so let's delete this section as well okay so we want sections from here okay click on save come back to this website refresh this website let's scroll down now as you can see we have everything with animation and you can change anything for example let me show you we don't have these forms but i'll show you how you can get this form first let's see let's suppose you want to change this name so you select this name for example let me put in my name nayashik.com as you can see here we have nayashik.com I can change this uh, image as well just click on this image select this image you can have any image for example let's uh, select this image now click on insert media now as you can see the image is changed so it is really easy if you want to change this icons social links you can select this social link and you can change the link from here so now you can make any kind of changes which you want and I'll now let me show you how you can get this form first click on save changes go back to your dashboard how our plugins click on add new plugin now search for pirate forms and this is the one by theme isol it has got more than 200,000 active installs click on install now now click on activate And now you don't have to do anything you just have to install and activate the plugin and let's refresh and see now as you can see when we refresh this website we have this thing over here so that was a short code which works only when you have the plugin so you don't even have to create that you have everything over here so this is how you create a page you can add uh, you can import more uh, pages so over here for example this is the home page as i said you earlier i have created about us contact us and services pages as well so let's see how to do that now let's cut this page go to dashboard now let me import some more uh, pages over here so how are elementors go to my library click on import templates choose file we have imported the first one let's import the second one click on open 
import now import template choose file select the third one open import now now let's import the last one we have the three and we have the contact services home page and last one will be obviously the about us okay so we have successfully imported all the four pages over here now let's create uh, some new pages and import these things so our pages and click on add new now put the title as about us page just put in about us make it send uh, full width so select this and select full width from your click on publish now click on edit with elementor okay now you don't have to do anything at all you just have to click on this add template button go to my templates and select this about template click on insert and you have a complete website in front of you without doing anything okay so you just have to change all these things from your suppose you want to change this text you click on this text and you put in your own text over here if you want to change this image select this image change this image from your okay so you don't have to do anything you just have to change everything click on save okay now again go to your dashboard and let's click uh, let's create uh, different pages how our pages click on add new let's create uh, create the contact us page now type in the title as contact us and make it full width also remove the title that will be much better select the title click on disable now click on publish first click on edit with elementor now again you don't have to do anything just click on add template my templates and this was i guess contact us page so select contact click on insert Again, you have the whole complete uh, contact us page in front of you without doing anything. Just have to do some changes, the basic changes. For example, if you want to change this map, you click on this map. And instead of this address, you put in your own address. For example, I'll put in Mumbai. Now, as you can see, the map is changing. And this is the Mumbai map. Click on save. I'm really sorry about my voice. I have been speaking for around two hours, I guess. <coughs> so. I'm struggling a bit and if you want to change this icon this text this color you can do so easily okay now this is how you create a contact page now let's click uh, cre create the last page the services page and after that we'll add all those pages in our menu and we'll finish this video okay let's click how our pages click on add new now click on type in services again just make it full width select title disable it and click on publish click on edit with elementor now again click on add template my templates and select services okay so you have your services page over here okay the complete services page is over here you just have to change this text icon whatever you want to change from here now click on save now let's add all these pages on our menu bar over here so again go back to the dashboard hover appearances and click on menus now let's bring these pages let's select the contact us page about us page and the services page click on add to menu and maybe you want all these pages under one uh, you want to make all these pages sub page under one uh, for example let me let me show you what i am trying to say in the url just put in this hashtag in the link text just type in maybe our company click on add to menu bring this thing at the top and bring services 
contact us and about us page under our company okay so you have this our company over here and you have these three pages under our company click on save menu let's refresh this website now you have this R menu over here. When you hover this, you get three different options. You can also put a icon to our company if you want. Okay guys, with this we complete this video. We complete this course on how to create a membership website. I hope this video was helpful to everyone out there. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. If you have any doubt, any queries, any question, any request, you can post a comment in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. You can also share this video if you like and also give a thumbs up to this video. And thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.